Here's how you find the reciprocal for four and one half. So to find the reciprocal, we have right here, this is a mixed fraction. We have a whole number and then a fraction. If we can get this to an improper fraction, that'll make it a lot easier to find the reciprocal here for four and a half. So the way we do that, four times two is eight plus one, that's nine. And then we put that nine over two. So when we take the mixed fraction four and one half to an improper fraction, we have nine over two. And these are equivalent. They're the same value, just written differently. Now, when we take the reciprocal of a fraction, we move the numerator to the bottom, the denominator to the top. So we end up with two as our numerator and nine is the denominator. This is the reciprocal for four and one half and for nine over two as well. We can check our work though. We can take that reciprocal at two over nine and we can multiply it by our original fraction, that nine over two, which we know is equivalent to four and a half. We should get one if we did this correctly. Two times nine is 18. Nine times two is 18 and 18 divided by 18, that is one. So we did this part correctly. The reciprocal for four and one half is two ninths. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.